thing is most of my friends, the first time they hear me talk about it, they're like, wait a minute, what? You, you do what? In a hotel ballroom in suburban Baltimore, a once forgotten skill is being resurrected as a modern sport. It's commonly called German longsword, and its techniques date from the late Middle Ages. Today, fighters wear modern protective gear and use steel swords with dull edges. In my mind, it was something very different than what it is. I don't know, I was picturing dressing up and fake sword fighting, and I just wasn't interested. Um, I finally went to one practice and haven't looked back since. It's a serious martial art and a serious sport, and we're hoping that, that awareness will grow and uh, more people will find us and, and turn it into a thing. Kiana Shurkin, a 21-year-old engineering student, has been participating for three years. She's a champion longsword competitor and often fights opponents nearly twice her size. It's harder for me to fight smaller people because I'm so used to fighting you know, people taller than me or larger than me. And, um, you know, size difference shouldn't really matter. It should be about skill and, you know, being able to deal with any kind of situation or opponent. So it's a very complicated style for being the oldest. Using ancient manuals yeah. once hidden away in museums and private libraries, practitioners believe they have resurrected historical fighting techniques. We have all this, all this material, these, these four, five, six hundred year old books on how to fight with swords, with sticks, with daggers, with our bare hands. Wouldn't it be cool if we did this? The longsword was the one that we had a lot of information on how this is done. And so the reconstruction really started at the longsword. What separates this from an academic pursuit is the fighting. Longsword enthusiasts have organized competitions. This one is called Long Point and it's the largest in North America. Good evening, Long Point 2014. Fights are timed and use modern rules based on medieval dueling practices. Points are awarded for the type and quality of a hit. The, the main thing you're looking for is who hit who, where did they hit them, how good was the hit, what was the quality of the hit, and then this, this final criteria called control, which was in the moment of that strike, was the attacker closing off the line of attack, controlling his opponent's weapon in such a way that a counter blow is literally impossible. Here is an illustration of that point. The fighter with red socks exchanges blows with a fighter in white socks. Finally, white socks lands a cut to his opponent's ribs and immediately recovers into a defensive position. The fighter in red socks is unable to counterstroke. The exchange again in real time. The longsword is the primary weapon in a wider array of martial arts, which enthusiasts call Historical European Martial Arts, or HEMA. It includes several bladed weapons, sticks, wrestling, and even mounted combat. I'm not into the thee and thou thing and the theatricals of it all. I just kind of want to fight. I want it to go far and I want it to be awesome and I want it to be amazing and I want it to be like, you know, all, let's televise it and show people what we do, but you don't want to lose this little kitschy click cult. We need, we need about a million dollars is what we need to, uh, to like actually pay for like staff. Hey Red Bull, right? 